In today's video guys, we'll be opening up 150 Fusion Strike Booster Packs in order to find any of these 5 cards. As soon as I find one of these 5 cards, I'm gonna give the remaining sealed boosters to one lucky comment. Alright guys, so in order to pull this crazy challenge off right now, let's open up our first Fusion Strike Booster Box right here. I actually think I'm gonna open up everything and have all the boosters laid out, and then we can easily see how many boosters we've got remaining to give away as we get through the boosters. The best case scenario right now, we pull the card we're looking for on the very first pack, and we get to give away 149 packs. Okay, this right here, that's one box. We got three more to go. Oh my goodness me, guys! That right there is probably one of the craziest sights we've seen on the channel in the hottest minute. That is 144 Fusion Strike Boosters. But I know what you're thinking, Ando. You said 150 packs. That's how many you're opening. Well, you only get 144 out of uh, four booster boxes. So obviously, we've gone and had to purchase an additional six. And these are all randomly out of booster packs from news agents and all that. So this could go horribly wrong because they've weighed them or something, but it could go horribly right. And maybe these are the elusive ones. So we've got an additional six, which I'll put there. And that makes an 150 Fusion Strike opening. Now, what are the hit cards that we get? and then we give away the rest of the packs. All right, so basically if I pull a new VMAX, an Espeon VMAX, which looks so gorgeous, hopefully we get that, a Gengar VMAX, which again, unbelievable, or a Unlisted Leaf Gold Energy card, that would be pretty crazy as well. A Rainbow Rare Mew would be off the charts, a Mew V Alt Art as well, and I think just for the lols, if we manage to get a green and V right here, I'll also give away the remaining packs. So yeah, about five cards and a few extras in there that if we get them, I'm just going to give the rest of the packs to you guys because I feel like that's all I really want is a good hit out of Fusion Strike. Obviously, I've opened up my first ever booster box on the channel. We got pretty good. Like, I feel like you could get so much worse out of Fusion Strike and we managed to get a gold Flaffy card, which was unbelievable. So I was pretty over the moon by getting gold Flaffy in our first booster box, but... I feel like it could be even better. We could get an alt art or something, and there's so many good artworks, so many good like ultra rares in this set still to come. So I thought, let's do it. Let's buy like a ridiculous amount of boosters, 150, and see what we can't get. Let's see what we can't sort of find. Praying we get one of these cards though, because some of the artwork is unbelievable. The Espeon, I'm still like taken aback by. I couldn't even imagine how good it looks in English. And the same with the Gengar. Oh my goodness, the VMAX is gorgeous. Let me know in the comment section, how are you going in Fusion Strike? Do you need a couple of booster packs? Is there a couple of cards you're still chasing? If so, let me know and you could win all of the remaining packs. Quillfish, here we go. We got a Toxel and the very first hit is a Gengar V. Is this alluding to something? I don't know. This could be good. We're also going to do a recap, so don't even stress right now. All the cards are going to the side, and then the end of the video, I'll be going back and looking past all the hits. Gengar V's looking gorgeous, by the way. With these bigger openings, though, I can't, like, dwell on the card for too long. So, <laughs> I guess if you want to see the card again, you've got to go all the way to the uh, end of the video. Wait to the recap, or just go back and watch the highlight a couple of times. We got Lop Bunny, Marsh Tom. This set is ridiculous though. I think I was scrolling through a couple of cards before and I couldn't believe the amount of cards they shoved into one set. And this got, I feel like, so overlooked. I feel like no one properly appreciated Fusion Strike for what it was. It's cool. It's made up of a lot of different Japanese sets and a lot of good Japanese sets too, like Eevee Heroes and then the one before that, Fusion Strike. It's just like... I, don't, I feel like Celebrations overshadowed everything. Because Celebrations came out and a couple weeks later this came out. So no one really got this full appreciation. My, my only thought is maybe over Christmas people will get this as Christmas presents. Unbox it. Um, because it's the more later set towards Christmas. But I've also found when people ask me for ideas for Christmas presents... I'm recommending celebrations. I feel like people would be more happy with a small celebration opening because they could get the Charizard over a Fusion Strike. I mean, it's cool. You could get like any of the alternate arts out of Fusion Strike, but yeah, I feel like celebration takes the cake. Oh snap, look at that thing. That is a hit and a half. G-Max Fireball is the attack. This right here is a Cinder Ace. V-Max. Oh mama. I thought that was a pub kaboo for a second. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Look at that. 45 out of 264. Gigantamax. 
Oh, wow. Gengar V and Cinderace V Max. Dude, the texture is gnarly. All right, let's keep it moving though, Uncle Ando. Let's keep it going. Let me know if you like these openings too with a thumbs up because I'm never sure if you guys like the single booster box or the massive openings where we try and get heaps of hits. Very curious, but hopefully you enjoy this. Hopefully you stick around and get a big Walmart sized bag of popcorn. Probably a Costco sized bag to be honest. Buy in bulk, save some money. Smeargle, Kavana, Lavani, and a Cloyster. All right, let's clear out the bottom right here. And hopefully I'll be able to clear the set out, have a bit more room to open up some boosters. Or, let's hope we get one of the hit cards right now. Give the rest away. So a lot of beef I think everyone has with this set is the pull rates. No one thinks that it's healthy. They think that it's too hard to even just get a holo card. Uh, one of the top comments on my opening of the booster box was, and I opened up six packs. Six, like, individual booster packs. Only got one holo. There we go. So imagine opening six packs and that's all you got. I understand the frustration and I get that is a bit difficult, but they've made holos pretty rare in this set. Like, they're alone pretty hard to get, let alone getting a V and a V Max. So, I do understand that. I think the bigger problem with the set is not the hits. Like, fair enough, it's hard to get stuff, but sometimes Pokemon do that. I think what Battle Styles was hard to get as well. Oh, 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 Unlisted Leaf. If we get the gold Unlisted Leaf energy, I'm ending everything. Low key. Look at that. I love that. You can't be skipping over trainers like this. The Cramomatic? Who came up with the Cramomatic? They need like a high five or something. I bet they get no respect for that card. It's sick. It's a robot Cramorant. Anyway, it's like if the Dyson Vacuum Company came out with that card. Rotom. And... Landorus, I gotta have my boy. If they had a Thunderous in the set, game over. That would be the card we're hunting for. No questions asked, little Tim Tam. We're getting the Thunderous, but we'll take the Landorus. So I think Battle Styles, you know, like a few of those. Shilling Rain, to me, didn't feel hard to get, but I do know a lot of people thought that was a hard set to track down, you know, the Galarian Birds or whatever. I think the thing that plagues this set, more than things being hard to get, it's the fact you can still weigh it. No one knows if the Pokemon company actually stuffed up and they, cause like, you know how the black border codes mean you're gonna get something and the white border codes mean you're not getting anything? Latios right there. So I'll explain this. Let's open up this pack right here. And if we look at the code card, we're gonna be able to determine what we get. It's a white code. So what does that mean guys? Nothing. It should mean we get a regular rare. There's no like, uh, I don't know. Like half art cards, ancient traits, they don't really exist. It's like you get a V Max, you get a V, a holo, or you get nothing. So you ready? Look at that. Get a regular rare. Now, if we get a black border on the other hand, that means a mixed spicy, double crisp, bacon tender deluxe is cooking. Nah, another white. So this one's gonna be nothing. We should be able to. Yeah, look at that. We can predict it. So this, this is a huge downfall because think, when's the last time Pokemon updated their codes? Never, like it's been ages since like the beginning of time they've roughly used the same code layout. Maybe they've changed the picture. It's white again. I really want to get a black so I can, look at that. We're on a roll with these predictions. Zora, I love you. You're a bit of a legendary, but I want to find a uh, black code. To... Here we go, you ready? This is going to have the McSpicy Dougal in here. Okay, swing around, unlisted leaf. I just want to test my theory, make sure I'm right. Schoolboy, I, r I don't know why. He's got a full art card and it's so cute. I would, oh, I would love to have uh, that in a full art form. Maybe even a rainbow rare? We haven't got too many rainbow rares in this set, and I feel like they're hard to get too. Mawile. Oh! It's not too shabby with a Greninja V, but the black border came through with the pull. So as you guys noticed, the black border means we're gonna get something. And people think the black border was actually meant to be in the light pack because it's a heavier code, so that would like even the weights out. But because it's a uh, it's a heavier code, right? It goes into the pack with the hit. So all the heavy packs now have like, I, uh, I, I don't know, I think it could, it could be the other way around, but they're very weighable, right? So one's very, very heavy and another pack is very, very light, which means people can weigh it and find out what's in what. Now, that shouldn't be an issue. It, like Pokemon are directly stuffed up because they've purposely made these codes even heavier than normal. They've made them more obvious than normal and they still got it wrong. So I think that's the big issue that plagues this set for me, is knowing that you can never sell individual packs without having to worry that someone has weighed it. Yeah, I don't know. 
I think that for me is the downfall of this set. It's not really the hard pull rate. It's like, all right, you can do it if you want. It's more fun when there is more hits, but I think that having the chase is sometimes really good. A uh, good example is Cosmic Eclipse. The character art cards were just a little bit too easy to get in my opinion. Ooh, Toxtricity. All right, I'll take a holo card, fair enough. The recap's gonna look a bit spicy. But yeah, those Cosmic Eclipse character art cards, a tad too easy to get, and I found that you didn't appreciate them as much as you probably should, because the artwork on that set's fantastic, and the, you know, the resale value right now is skyrocketing because people are starting to realize that, oh snap, hot diggity, that is a good set. So I'm gonna go buy it. But because those character arts were so common, people didn't really realize at the time, they just thought it would be a, I don't know, a bit of a write-off. So that's, you know, in that instance, you'd want them harder to get. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to know, what are your thoughts on Fusion Strike? It's probably the most controversial release of this year somehow. I don't know how a bit of cardboard so controversial, but it definitely is. Uh, how have your luck been? Have you got the, are you the person that bought the six boosters and only got one holo? If so, I'm sorry, definitely leave a comment on today's video. Maybe you'll be able to get better luck out of whatever packs you managed to get. Come on guys, we've got to believe in the heart of the cards any moment. This video could end, like this could be it. Well, no, because we just saw the code card, but any one of these packs could hold the keys to the final pack of the video. We're just gonna get what we're looking for, and that's gonna be it. Qfont, a Selagor, and an Absol. It's such a shame, this is such a big set, and I do think it deserves a lot of respect, because when is Mew coming out as the, oh my, okay, we've completely butchered this. It's a white code as well, there you guys go. How are you going in the codes, by the way? I feel like I never ask anymore. Sandy Gast and a Grumble. What's he looking for? A holo card. All right, let's keep going. We got Boltland right here. This could be the Boltland that unlocks the final booster pack right now. Okay, why are the codes upside down as well? So yeah, big giant set, heaps of cool artwork. Muse are flipping like ultra rare, which is awesome. Stantler's here. So, yeah, I think Hot Pink actually suits it. I know a lot of people think this is a very cheaply made booster. Apparently, you can tell which factory they printed it from because the logo is actually pixelated in some of the, um, <laughs> as bad as it's... I know I'm like, I sound like I'm getting all the negatives. It's just things I've read over Twitter. Uh, but apparently, some of the logo here is pixelated because some factories had to rush print this really fast. Um, and then others, like, took their time. I think so they could make the set come out on time and have enough supply with everybody because, you know, Pokemon's all the rage at the moment. So it's pretty interesting, like a lot of stuff going on for one like individual set. I, yeah, I hate to say it, I still like Celebrations probably a smidge more, but I'm yet to see some slappers. You've also got the brand new Fusion Strike logo right there. Gorge, I love this one. As I said, it reminds me of the Scout dude uh, <laughs> from the movie Up, you know? Uh, Russell, isn't his name Russell? The Wilderness dude? Okay, let's keep going. Oh, that up movie is emotional, guys. That's uh, and Ando's gonna get the old tissue box out for the crying after watching that one. All right, we got fighting Turdinator, Puku Muku. So she comes as a full art and a rainbow rare as well. So schoolboy and school girl are ones to collect. Shoulder, and then Starmy. It's always intriguing. Like I see the black border on the code, and I'm like, this could be it. It's the end, guys. We're gonna find the cards we're looking for. And it gives you a holo card. Because there's so like few and far in between, you get so excited. Okay, Primate. Got the semi poor. Snorlax. Snom. Dreepy. Let's have some of that Christmas luck. Come on, it's the holiday season, Fusion Strike. You're gonna come through with the goods. 150 of these bad boys can't lead to nothing, can it? Alright, we're nearly done with the bottom floor, so I'm gonna clean all of this stuff up. Toka Tamaru was in the set, you see that? That's great. Caterpie. Come on, Shinx, Lapras, gorgeous. Looks like it's in the middle of a, either swimming away from something or in a battle. Oh, breakdancing Genesect. If I could get that, I'll end the video as well. That is such a good, do you guys like that art? I love it, because I got it in Japanese. Imagine having it in Japanese and English. I would get it graded, 100,000% guys. You imagine having both of them graded next to each other? It's just such a funny card. I think when I used to talk about that card coming out, I was really excited about it, and all the comments like, what the heck are Pokemon doing? They put a breakdancing Genesect? He literally is. There's a boom box on the card art, oh, so that's what he's doing. Uh, okay, got a Cursler. We're nearly done. I think three packs remaining on the floor, and then we're getting through the towers. The big bad almighty towers, I know. 
pop this one open. Put it to the side. Oh, no. Okay, let's keep going until we get a uh, black border uh, code card. I reckon that's what we're going to do. Clay doll. Next one. I think there's actually a few more. I'll be like five or so left on the floor here. This could be good. Yep, yeah, this is it. This is going to be the hit of a lifetime. Come on, little Timmy. Four from the back. Or this could be an hour-long video. Either way, I'm sticking around. I hope you guys are as well. Meowth Onyx. Oh, got the Butterfree Reverse. And then... Oh, Lucario's got a V-card. Wow. Okay, they should have... Oh, imagine a Lucario alternate art. Oh, that would be sick. I'll take a V, though. It's fantastic. So far, I've got a good selection, but we've only got one V-Max. Which really does show how hard those V-Maxes are to pull. That's what I like to see, boys. Another black border. Yep, okay, we didn't stuff it up too bad. <sighs> Let's do it. Cramomatic. That's my favorite trainer card in 2021, I reckon. Totodile. Should we put it in our 2021 top 10 hits of all time? Butterfree. That's probably one of my more favorite holo cards, though. It does look pretty gorgeous. Put that one to the side. Come on, Boltlands. Come on down. You're coming to the mixed spicy pool party? Nah. <laughs> we'll speed open the rest, as I said. We've got Dreadnought right there, and an Arcanine. At least we're uh, we're cracking them open, I guess. We're finding out where the uh, dud, dud ones are, so whoever wins this doesn't have to. I'm going to end the video on a black code card, even if this is the last... Look at that! SpongeBob SquarePants hands, and Luxray. Even this is the last pack. I... Yeah, it's the last one on the floor. Okay, I'll start taking from this side. Work our way through. We've just got to finish on a hit before I clean everything up. Because if we leave it on a good note, you get the good vibes going into the next section. Okay. Then we'll do both the sides of the tower. Fighting type, Cooper Rogers back in the set too. We've got that Cook. Is the Cook a full I card? I can't remember. Hamport, Seawaddle, Skarmory, Darkrai Reverse. Oh, Boltland, of course. He's got the, like, he's the main mascot of the set, guys. So, of course, he's got to have a card. Roughly similar art. That is amazing. All the electricity right there. Looks like Pikachu's tail a little bit. Great here. I'm psyched. Got a lot of V cards, but I stink like a V Max, a full art spicy. Should be around the corner. Alrighty, guys. I hope you're doing your stretches. I hope you're ready. We're going to have some positive energy right now. It's Fusion Strike, right? It's probably one of the most ruthless sets of 2021 so far. People are opening booster boxes and getting one V Max and calling it a day. So I'm hoping. The fact we're open 150 packs, I can at least see one alternate artwork. That's all I want. That's all I want to do is see one alternate artwork from this set. Just, I want, to, I want it to be able to like face me and see it's actually possible. It's a real thing and they're not just a myth. Because at this point, I'm, I'm half certain that they're just a myth. Like they don't exist. Way too difficult to pull. The ratios are absolutely insane to get anything crazy. So let's try and do it. Let's try and open up four booster boxes plus six random packs in order to find one card. Not making it up. Unlisted Leaf Gold card would be nice as well. Unlisted Leaf and I think it's a fire type energy is the other gold card. But we're not looking for fire. As cool as it would be, Smeargle there and a Corvic Knight. That's not what we're hunting for. We're gonna go for the shiny bit of grass energy. It's so funny, right? When people uh, DM me on Instagram, sometimes they call me Mr. Leaf. I think that's just my new name. You imagine if you went to the birth certificate place, you're like, yeah, you know, my name was cool, but I need everyone to call me Mr. Leaf now. So that's going to be my new last name, Leaf. We got Cook and then another Steelix. There's certain Pokemon. There is certain Pokemon that I swear I have 10,000 of the same card. While there's others that I know are in the set I haven't ever seen. So... Oh. Even just a full art at this point, to be honest. We've opened up all these cards. Has Ando seen a Rainbow Rare? No. Full art? Nah. Alternate artwork? No. V Max? Only one. And I feel like we've almost gone through a whole booster box now. I score! And there we go! Another V Max to tantalize our taste buds. But this one right here, we pulled in our original box Gengar V Max. Oh, the words I cannot describe how good it would be if we pulled the alt art version of this. But I'll take it. Gengar V Max coming in clutch. It suits the uh, color scheme of the uh, of the boosters, I guess, but... Oh, this is... Okay. This is good. At least we're getting our V-Maxes. We got our Cinder Ace, got our Gengar. But guys, <laughs> it really does show. Like, for some reason, they love worshipping the V-Maxes in this set. Way more than the Full Arts and the Rainbow Rares. And it's so interesting. Like, 
I get this vibe that Pokemon are kind of phasing out rainbow rares almost. Like they don't put them, I don't know, or hold them as high as they once did. Especially with the brand new Japanese set. Wow, that one jumped out of my hands. What was it? Oh, here we go. This could be something. It leaped out of my hands. I'll come back to that thought. Did you see that? And it looks like there is something at the back. This could be good. Sand Slash, don't do it to me, bud. Remember that one episode with Sandshrew wearing that like weightlifting suit? In the, uh, I think it was the first season of the anime. Mankey, here we go. Latios, and then... Genesis, I love you dude, but I really want the breakdancing boombox version. You know what? I'll take it. It's a regular V hit. This is looking good. The Fusion Strike Binder? It's all getting checked off. It's all looking thick spicy. Although, I don't know who's collecting Fusion Strike with me. I feel like I'm one of the only people. Anyway. Um, oh gosh. I forgot what I was even talking about. <laughs> The Genesec completely threw me off. There's the code card. Look at this, look at this, look at this. It's another one. Sorry, I'll get back to the point. We got Genesect. And then, could you imagine we get something as well? Prime Ape. PewDiePie. Here we go. Onyx. Endo's ADHD is kicking in. Togedemaru. Pikachu. What? I did You're kidding me. You're telling me that Almighty Chu has a flipping card in this set? It almost feels like it's a secret rare, doesn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, I would have probably gone for this if I knew it was in there. I'm a huge Pikachu collector, I'm stunned. Okay, low-key getting, uh, this, this set's getting a bit more fun by the booster pack. Uh, this is awesome. Okay, Pikachu V. So that, wow, okay, so then that means we've got a stack of V cards. Yeah, I think, okay, I remember what I was talking about, the Rainbow Rares. I think the Pokemon Company is actually phasing them out with the new Japanese set, not even having Rainbow Rares anymore. Uh, and then this set having them be very, very difficult to get, to, to get, I guess. I don't know, I feel like Full Arts are probably just as hard as Rainbow Rares in this set to guess, but... Yeah, I do get the vibe. Rainbow Rares were once guaranteed, they were once like the be all and end all, the coolest thing you can get in the booster box. And now they're kind of hiding them away, like putting them out of plain sight. So if you're not actively looking for them, you forget about them. Yeah, a bit strange. Maybe they'll bring back amazing rares, fade out rainbow rares. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Imagine if they randomly brought back break cards. That would be the best day of my whole life. Bring back break cards. Landorus again. No way. I, I get frustrated doubling up in this set because it's so big. I, wanna, I, I could be getting a huge variety. Yeah, I get the same cards like Steelix and Landorus. These are out, I'm pretty sure, of the same case. I saw the guy take these boxes out of the same booster case. Doesn't make any sense. All right, there we go. Black code card. This could be good, boys. You ready? This was, okay, colors at the back. Color is at the back. Don't know if I saw texture, but I definitely saw color. You ready, Snubble? Geodude, Sizzly And then, oh, no way. Oh my, I doubled up again. <laughs> and we doubled up on the VMAX, like there's limited hits for us to get already. But look at that, Gengar VMAX coming in clutch. A lot of texture on that thing. We have seen it before, so let's put that to the side and keep it moving. Wow. So that must be, I guess, two bo booster boxes been put together. The risk you take when you stitch all your booster packs together when you open them up. So I guess, uh, RIP the Rainbow Rare. But I really do want a Rainbow Rare Mew so bad. It would look gorgeous, a full up Mew, and then with that Rainbow Rare livery all over it. Here we go. <gasps> no way, no way! Pikachu! Holy smokes! Hold this! Hold this! We did it! Yes! Ladies and gentlemen! Oh my goodness! The hardest card in the whole set to get! I'm not making- Seriously, it's a Sunday. Everyone's asleep. If the police rock up, I'll put it on my Instagram story. I'm not kidding you. This is the hardest card in Fusion Strike to get. Not make- Oh, and we get to give away all the packs as well! I've literally got a sleeve in case I pulled this. You don't understand, this is the most rare card and I think it's the most expensive. Oh my gosh, it looks so good, guys. Yo, are you looking at that thing? It is so many colors. There is so much going on. The magic school bus is right there. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this could be the most ridiculous opening I've ever done on the listed leaf. Seriously, I was in for it today. I was so ready to do a two-hour opening, open all of these, and not get anything. 
But this set has just come through giving us the Mew V Max Octurna R. The number one hardest card to get in the set. Okay, I guess let's have a recap. I'll work out how many boosters I'm giving away. So maybe I'll divide it into two comments because that that's a lot of packs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me guys. I actually can't believe what has just gone down. This has got to be hands down one of the craziest unlisted league videos we've ever filmed. Please demolish the like button. Uh, Hazel's come to join us in the recap because I honestly think what happened is she heard me screaming and thought I died. Oh my, I'm never lost for words, but right now I feel like there's a block. I can't think of what to say. It's just two bananas. Not only did we get the rarest card, I get to give away all these packs, which I counted by the way. There is 110 boosters to give away. So I think I'm gonna give it away to two lucky comments, random comments. All you have to do, leave a comment down below and I'll give one comment, 55 boosters. I'll pay for the postage completely free. And I'll give another comment, 55 boosters, totaling an 110 Fusion Strike booster giveaway. Probably one of the biggest I've ever done on the channel. Oh, bro, this is insanity. So then if we want to do a recap right, so we can work out that if I'm giving away 110 boosters, I opened up 40 packs. So just over a booster box. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my new recommendation. Don't buy a booster case. Buy 150 flat. And you could, like, look at that. Get all those holo cards. Then Pikachu V, Genesect V as well. You get all these V cards, including Gengar Lucario. Crowd favorites. We got Hazel's favorite card. She's chilling in the background. Got two Gengar V Maxes, because what's better than one? Getting a double. You know what's better than getting a double? Getting the alternate artwork, but we're not pushing our lock. I'm pretty sure it's in there because, wow. And then look at that, Cinderace V. So somehow, I don't know how this is possible. After three VMAX pulls out of 40 packs, I've gone and, look at this. I've gone and done it. Now I'm gonna take it out of its sleeve again. There is, oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see this. I, I don't know how well the camera picks it up. It is Christmas on a Pokemon card. The colors are unbelievable. Look at the colors down here. Concentrate on this part. What? This is one of the most gorgeous cards. And this is why it's frustrating that people don't want to collect Fusion Strike. This is unbelievable. It's just, it's pure magic and happiness on one card. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how I'm going to end the Fusion Strike series. If you want me to see me open up more boosters, let me know in the comments because I could be convinced at this point. Good luck on the entries. Just leave a comment, guys. You got two opportunities to win 55 booster packs. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I'm going to go top loader this one. Should I grade it? I'd love to know. Oh, guys, the artwork is... So I keep finding new things because it's a roller coaster, obviously, and the carts on the roller coaster have gone flying off. The magic school bus is there as well. Um, <laughs> Muse just destroyed this entire roller coaster. Anyway, I'll stop uh, yapping on about the card. Have a fantastic day. I hope this made your day a little bit better because my day, I, I'm happy for the next five years. Like, this is awesome. Keep on gaming, guys. I'll see you in the next video.